to complete the last of this design, we need to add a circle and add the image of Boris Johnson in there and then add the little caption of text in front of it. So with that in mind, well, I'm going to head back to InDesign. Got a nice clear view of that region. I'm going to switch to my ellipse tool that we saw in an earlier exercise. If you don't see it in the tools panel, click and hold down on whichever tool is available and do just make sure you click on the ellipse tool. From the menu up at the top, make sure you set the fill color to chili red, hit the return key. There's no need for a stroke in this case. So you can click on the stroke, drop down menu, scroll back up to the top of the list and choose none and then hit return. And you can hover your cursor over that region and left click and let go without moving the mouse. And that will call up the ellipse dialog box. This one needs to be 50 by 50 millimeters. Click OK. And then you'll have to try and get yourself back into the habit of going to the selection tool so that you can click and drag and move that and make it sit in the column in there like so. Now, as it happens, it's ever so slightly larger than the column itself. So if you wish to, you can hover your cursor over the top right hand handle. Make sure you hold down the shift key and then click and drag downwards ever so slightly just to make that fit into the column width. Now holding down the shift key will lock the aspect ratio, meaning that we're going to scale down the width and height equally. Then you can take your finger off the left mouse button and the shift key. I'm going to keep that selected because the next thing we'll do is go to file and choose place. Select the image of Boris Johnson and click on open. And that will deposit the photograph inside of the circle for us, but it needs a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to hover my cursor back over that photograph and then left click on the content grabber. That will allow us to select the photograph, but keep the circle stationary. And then I'll just drag and pull that down a little bit. We just need a little bit of room to allow the caption that's going to appear in the upper left hand corner of that circle enough room so it doesn't cover his face. And then when you're done, click away. Having finished with the images layer, I'm going to go up to the top there, lock it unlock the text layer and click on the text layer and go to file and choose save.